Eh nous caille pour nous loger aujourd'hui. You give us you gave us um, um, houses so that we can shelter today. This is the key of the community. We're willing to build houses with strong walls and strong roofs to weather storms and to make the children feel safe when they come home from school. The houses are amazing. What you can do for comparably so little money by American standards, you create a two-room home with bathrooms, with flushing toilets. It's just amazing. The change is that the people of Olivier actually have real concrete homes. Before they were living in shacks, and now they have two-room homes with bathrooms, with a roof over their head and safety. Here we are in Olivier, Haiti. We're going to meet one of the residents who recently received a home for from Food for the Poor. His name is Edmund. And this is his family, his extended family standing behind us. And Edmund, I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about um, your living conditions before you received this house. <laughs> when it rained, it would leak, the house was cracked, uh, the house was about to fall down. Uh, as his son said, it was a very well, ugly house. Yeah, every, every little thing that passed would destroy it a little bit more. Every time there was a storm, it would fall apart a little bit more. <laughs> He said when he receives a house this beautiful, he has to make sure he keeps it clean and he's always improving it to show his appreciation of something, a gift this beautiful. Would it be okay if we could see the inside? Edmund's wife Jeanette has joined us here inside the house and now we're going to ask them a few more questions about how this house has changed their life. Um, how long have you been living in the house now? How long have you been living in the house now? In the new house? Two months. Two months. They've lived here two months since it was finished. Did they stay in this house during Hurricane Isaac and did they feel safe? Isaac passed away, you're there? My father and my husband are She said, so when Isaac came by, she, she didn't have to worry about anything because she felt like it was strong. How do you think that your family's future has changed because of this house? Okay, so she said that with this house now, that they have the means to be someplace safe, and so they're going to be able to work together with the community that will continue to grow and advance together. I hope you enjoyed our tour of Olivier. Thank you for your support. Please keep giving. There are many more families that need your help.